welcome back to Life and Style by Liz. I am sitting at my vanity. It has been such a long time since we've done any sort of get ready with me or doing my hair, which is what I'm gonna do today. I was gifted an awesome hair dryer. And even though it looks like my hair is dry, I promise you guys it's not. I just made a reel for Instagram if you're not following me over there. It's just at Life and Style by Liz. But I did dry a couple pieces in the front of my hair and I did shower. Obviously I did my makeup. So in the meantime, my hair sort of air dried, but you guys, that is the best way to dry your hair. A lot of people ask me, Liz, your hair is so shiny. You know, it doesn't look damaged. Well, the truth is there is some damage. I don't think it shows up on camera or maybe not even in real life because I really work hard at hiding it. But you know, once you get highlights or gray hair and you start dyeing your hair, you're gonna have damage. It's just the way it is. But I do use a heat protectant. I will put up on the screen. It's just the Olaplex number nine, you guys. It's great. I put it all through my hair and then I brush my hair through with this brush. This is my favorite brush, you guys. It's a vent brush and it's from Walmart. It's like under $4. Anyway, you guys, I'll link everything we talk about today. You don't have to worry about a thing. But I am focused today on this hair dryer. So my back to my original point, yes, you should allow your hair to air dry as much as possible uh, before you hit it with the heat. That way you're using less heat. If you step out of the shower and you start blow drying your hair with high heat and your hair sopping wet to get it to a dry point, you will damage your hair, I promise you. Been there, done that. All right, so I have the perfect product. It's called Anland and it is a high-speed hair dryer. Okay, I wrote down the things I want you to know about this. Fast dry, low noise. It has four temperatures, which I love, and they're all with the press of a button. I'm gonna show you in a minute. And there are two speeds. That you do move a dial up or down, very simple. The dryer in the front here, this is magnetic. So I was told by my hairdresser to always use this. It directs the heat in the air right to where you want it. But look, you guys, magnetic. And then so if you want to hang um, the hairdryer on the wall, you would stick this onto the wall or to the door of the vanity, which is what I suggest, and then it will hang. How nice is that? This dryer, again, four temperatures, two speeds. The way you do the temperature, okay, I'm gonna do the speeds. So you can see right here, you've got one line for the lower speed and then two lines for the high speed. And it's quiet, listen, pretty quiet. That's it, if the high speed is right there. And this light, I'm gonna put it on low. This light on the back is on blue, that means cool. This is warm, and this is the hottest setting. So it's color coded. Now, I know it probably sounded loud because I had this right near the microphone, but I promise you it is quieter than most hair dryers. The brand is Anlin, they're available on Amazon. Right now, when I looked it up, they are $100. That is the cost of this particular hair dryer, under $100. Also, currently I saw a $20 coupon. Now, I don't know if the brand is gonna give me any coupons or if that is the discount. Either way, you guys, you know why it's such a good deal? Because this hair dryer, and the brand did not tell me to say this, but I have personally used a Dyson hair dryer. This is like a Dyson. The Dysons start at $250 and go up over $400. This one's under $100, plus right now there's a coupon for $20 off. I am going to go ahead right now and blow dry my hair for you guys with this, and I will let you know from very damp, I have tons and tons of hair, you guys, very damp at the back, about how long it took. All right, let me go do that, I'll speed it up, and then I'll curl my hair in front of you guys. I've got my curling iron heating up, and we can talk, and then I'm gonna show you some outfits because, you know, we're gonna just kind of get ready with me and I'm gonna show you the stuff I got in my rental box this month. We're gonna talk a little bit, so stick around. All right, you guys, honestly, that took like four minutes because I did, like I said earlier, let my hair dry for so long so it really was not bad at all you guys saw i did a really super messy blow dry i didn't really use the brush just a little bit here and there to smooth it out but you guys look how smooth it is and i want to say it's for two reasons one it's because i let it air dry first 
And then two, because of this dryer, not like blowing it all around crazy, just using that negative ion technology to heat it. And I feel like that made such a difference. Look how shiny it is, you guys. I also use this shampoo um, by Joyco. It really does put a ton of shine in my hair. I also use the conditioner that goes along with it. I forget what it's called, if it's like repair or something like that but it works great because I do bleach my hair when I get my highlights retouched and I do have gray hair and have to cover my gray. I am going to, and if this is my favorite brush, go in and curl my hair, but you guys have seen this before, but I know a lot of you like to see it. So let's do it. Now my hairdresser took smaller sections the other day. I don't like my hair to be actually curly. I like it to be wavy. See how I just gonna curl it at the top? You guys are going, Liz, you left that out. No, I don't really want it in there. I know some of you are freaking out. I have a friend who is like, you have to put the whole thing in. I'm like, no, because then it's gonna be like 80s curls everywhere. That's not the goal here. We want a nice beachy wave. I feel like you guys have seen this so many times that you'll be bored, but I will speed it up, you know, eventually. I'm just gonna do maybe a few pieces on this side and then we'll quit because I do have some makeup on my desk here that I want to show you um, that I used today for this makeup look, which I think is kind of cute. I'm loving that hair dryer. It is going to save me time. I love the fact that I can put that little magnetic holder thing, this guy, up. And I'm honestly thinking on the inside door of my vanity if it's not gonna interfere with anything. If you guys have a spot on your wall or something, you can put it there. It's just nice to have that option of hanging up the hair dryer and getting it out of the way. All right, you guys, I feel like I'm so boring. So I'm gonna speed this up. And don't forget, it's called the Anlan. It's on Amazon. It is a negative ion technology hair dryer. If I'm being honest, because you guys know I tell you everything, before I curl my hair sometimes, most of the time, I can't even lie and say sometimes, most of the time, I straight iron it and then curl it to make it smooth and shiny. I know, talk about my hair should be falling out and I'm so lucky it isn't, but I did not find that I needed to do that today. That hair dryer kind of smoothed it out. So it must be that negative ion technology. Thank you, Anlan. You can get it on Amazon under $100. Everything will be linked below if there are any more discounts. That will be in the description box as well. All right, you guys, I promised you I have not moved from the seat. I just went ahead and curled everything. Now, normally I'll take a hair oil like this one and I will run my fingers through the bottom, but I haven't gotten up. I literally have not gotten up. Okay, here's my hair. And I did finish it up curling it with this curling iron. By the way, I love this curling iron. It's a cheapy Con Air from Amazon. I will link it for you. That hair dryer is awesome. Do you see? the shine in my hair. I have no hairspray in it right now, no shine spray, no no hair oil like the one I just showed you. Just straight up used that negative ion dryer and I feel like it made such a difference. Look at that gorgeous shine, you guys. Okay, let's move on to some makeup. Lately, and I've shown you this, I've been loving this Milani palette. It's called, it's one of their mini palettes and this one is called 110 Whiskey Business. Isn't that pretty? It's such beautiful fall colors. Now I know this looks a little dug around in because sometimes I use that as eyeliner and I have this eyeliner brush that I wet. So you could tell I've been swirling around in there, but this is great, you guys. Use the lighter colors as the base. See, like right in the corners. Now, of course, if you want, you're gonna use an eyeshadow brush, but I like to keep it light up there and then come in with like, this is one of my favorites right here to add a little fall flare to everything. I'm gonna talk about these nails in a second because um, I know you guys are looking at them. They're my new ones for this week. You guys know every, I would say week or week and a half, I like to change out my nails. But you guys, these are press on nails. They last me so long. I would say they last probably up to two weeks, mostly I would say about 10 days. And then I kind of just want to switch them out because what I do is I take them off. 
I put cuticle oil on my natural fingernails. I buff them, I moisturize everything, I clean them. Sometimes I leave them off for a couple of days depending on if I have plans to film or go out. So here is my fresh set. I'm loving them, they're oval, they're from Amazon and I will make sure to link these below as well along with that really, really good nail glue that has made such a huge difference. Thank you, Sophia, my daughter. All right, let's go over the lip combo, shall we? So today I came in with a NYX and this is in nude pink, you guys, it's kind of bright, but I thought it was refreshing, so I tried it. Look at that. It's not my super, super neutral. And then I came in with nude excessive, number 178. It's a L'Oreal Nude Intense, and it's more orangey because I'm gonna be showing you some orangey outfits. How has everyone been, by the way? Is anyone overwhelmed with the start of school? Do you have small children, anyone at home? I say small children if they're in school at all. I have two daughters, as you guys know. One is a senior in high school and one is in eighth grade. They are four years apart and lots going on at school. You know, one's finishing middle school, one's gonna be finishing high school. I can't even say that out loud. And then off to college, we've been discussing that kind of thing. Kind of stressful, um, but it's still just the beginning of October, so I'm not going to get too nervous about that. Okay, so that's the two items for that. Isn't that a gorgeous color? But then I came in with some e.l.f. Um, in the color cream. It's like a nice light neutral to just lighten the center up. It gives you a little dimension. You guys, I've been using still this All Star palette by Physicians Formula. This palette has bronzer. It has powder, it has blush, it has highlight. It is great. It even has two different color bronzers. Now you could tell I'm hitting pan over here, okay? I've been using it for a long time. I got this, I think Christmas time, and I still have this much left, which is great. This could be your powder. This is gonna be your bronzer. You can do some contouring with the darker one. I like to contour the sides of my nose and my cheeks and then come in with the highlight here. Check out this beautiful shimmery highlight. Look at that, you guys. Do you see that? So pretty, look. It just makes your cheekbones pop. I'm probably ruining my makeup coming in here playing around, but you guys don't care, right? So I will link this and I will link this and of course the lip combo, all the hair products. Now let's get some clothes on, Liz. Get out of your robe, quit chilling around, <laughs> hanging out. And let's see what I got in my rental box. All right, you guys, I am back with my first rental box look. It's this gorgeous maxi dress. It's sort of in like a butterscotch. I'm super excited to show you what's in my rental box. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. If you don't enjoy these videos because you have no intention of signing up for the rental company, you're still welcome to stay. This is not me pushing the rental company on you. I feel like the rental box is an opportunity for me to share with you how I style things. And I think that you'll be able to get some tips and tricks from these videos, whether or not you use my rental company or not. I think all of us have a maxi dress. So today I'm gonna to show you how to wear a maxi dress into fall. But I am gonna be the weather girl for Buffalo as per usual and let you know that it's 80 degrees right now. And yes, it is already into October. So we have unusually, or what they like to say around here, unseasonably, warm temperatures and I'm kind of enjoying it because I know what's coming. <laughs> Let's go over jewelry quickly. I'm wearing my gorgeous leaf gold earrings from Walmart. They're brand new. My gold coin necklace, one of my rings from Target, and then my gold stretchy bangle bracelet. This dress came in my rental box this week. Just so you know, I do have a rental company. It is rentslayreturn.com. For $50 a month, you could rent unlimited clothing and your first month is free. All of the information for that will be in the description box below. I love it. I can get swap out clothing for special events. You can see here, I wore that brown leather dress at an event. Over here, I recently wore a black silky slip dress. I absolutely loved it. So those are one and done special occasions that I won't need to wear the dress again. My photo was taken in them, etc. And that's what's nice about the rental company. I also, you guys, don't have to store everything. Even if you're not interested, stick around because it is fun to style 
and hang out with each other. But we all know you can wear a denim jacket with a maxi dress, right? So I did bring out my craft one and I always link everything for you. So this is outfit number one and I will make sure to link a cropped denim jacket if you wanna get this entire look as well. So let me back up and show it to you. I paired the look with my cute little cognac or brown booties. I thought they matched this perfectly and so I'm not wearing open toe. I'm not wearing, you know, just a regular halter style dress out in the fall. I look seasonably appropriate and I thought all these colors worked so well. But you guys, I wanted to try something else because like I said, we kind of all know that you can do the denim jacket look with a maxi dress, but I wanted to try, by the way, let me show you these boots. I will link these for you. How perfect is that for a match? I mean, OMG. Um, and these are from Amazon, so from the Dream Pair store on Amazon. Let's put on these cowboy boots. So I slipped on the cowboy boots. I haven't tried this yet. I'm trying it live and in person with you guys. Okay, I'm going to back up and let's check out how this looks. Oh, you guys, it worked. Look at this. So I'm wearing a summery, if you will, maxi dress with a tall black cowboy boot and a black moto jacket. And I just made the look very fall. All right, I have like three more looks I wanted to show you and we'll flip around and style them together. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, now I know it's fall, but I'm really excited that I picked this outfit in my closet because again, it's 80 degrees out here in Buffalo. I mean, if you looked outside, you would think it was summer still here. I'll leave this open for a bit. Okay, so this came in my rental box, the top and the bottom. This top I got in a size medium. I feel like I could have used a small. It's so gorgeous, you guys. By the way, the maxi dress was by Lush. Did I tell you that? Not sure who this is by. It doesn't matter. All you do is go on the website, start adding things to your closet that you think you're going to wear, and it ships out automatically to you. And when you're done, you just put it in the provided bag. You don't pay any shipping either way, going back or getting to you. And it's just so easy, you guys. I can't even tell you. I'm so excited. I've been wearing everything. I love this shirt. It's in that cute little corset style. Plus it has this puff sleeve. I find it to be so feminine and cute. It has all these buttons up here. I did not need to unbutton it because you guys, the back is smocked. So it fit over perfectly. And then here is another pair of express jeans. These are nice and high-waisted, perfect for this shorter corset shirt. And I'm wearing these in a size four as well. Here is the back. They're in a nice dark wash. I paired them with my clear strap studded sandals and I will make sure to link the sandals for you guys. All right guys, back with my second last look. All right, so this shirt is from Walmart. As you can see, the Walmart tag hanging down. It went perfectly with this skirt, which is from the rental company. I'm gonna back up and show it to you. It is a mini skirt. So if you are not one to wear a mini skirt, then this won't be for you because it is mini. I wouldn't say it's micro mini. I'm not hanging out the back or anything like that, but it's short. Here is the back while I'm in here. <laughs> I paired everything with my scrunch taupe boots from Target. I absolutely love these. I featured these in my latest Target video, but you guys, I really like this. I'm not so sure if I like it with this shirt. I think I'd like it with a darker shirt so that it's one long line and it sort of looks more like a dress, but the boots match very well. There is a piece of the plaid that is the exact same color of the boots. That's why I chose to go with like this neutral palette with the skirt. I think it's so cute. I'm not sure what size it is. This right here just snaps and it zips right up. I think it's cute. I would wear it out for dinner with my husband. I think he would like it. And let me just show you quickly the color so you can see that it is like an olive color. All right, you guys, I will be back with this time our final look from the rental. All right, guys, back with my final look this time. And it's this really cute baby doll dress. I grabbed my bag from Walmart. I've been yelling at you guys to get a cute little handbag that you can just do this with or real t wear it really tight like this. It looks cute. Anything but that big old bag that you carry around to run errands and to work, okay? Listen to me, you'll um, appreciate that. All right, let me back up and show you the dress. It's so cute, you guys. I think it's in a medium, I don't know. The nice thing about the rental site is they do go through a series of questions like, what size do you take at Express? What size have you taken in these brands? And then they help you. 
And then when you're on the site, once you become a member, your size will default to what they think or what they recommend for each brand would fit you. So it's nice. Anyway, I just paired it with the clear strap studded sandals. Basically because your girl is hot. Again, this room is heating up 80 degrees, sun billowing in. I do normally love it, but you know, it gets hot. And I had the hair dryer going in the whole bit. But anyway, this is so adorable, you guys. These are the types of things you can get from my rental company. Remember, it's just rentslayreturn.com. And of course, everything will be linked in the description box below. Your first month is free. And then after that, it is $50 a month and it is unlimited clothing. The minute you get something, you can click return the two items and they will send you your next two. So yes, you will have more than two at once. If you did go ahead and sign up for the company, let us know in the comments what you guys think. Is it worth it? Have you worn your stuff out? Have you been enjoying it? Is it fun? Are you getting like me where I want to pretend I'm someone else and wear a wool mini skirt with tall boots and then send it back, right? All right, you guys, and don't forget about the Anland hair dryer on Amazon under a hundred dollars. Right now, there's a twenty dollar coupon. If I have any other discounts, they will be in the description box below as well. I'm getting tongue tied, and everything that you saw today will be linked below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and helps other people to find me. And if you've not already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that bell or you won't be notified. And I've been uploading videos a lot more lately. I hope you all have a great night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye everyone.